So you might be trying to figure out how you can make your iPhone keyboard larger on your iPhone. Now, doing this is actually pretty basic. It really doesn't take too much time. But the big thing to keep in mind here is that if you don't want to download a different application, the only other way to make your keyboard larger is to pretty much go through and change the way your phone is basically viewed. So what you can see, I'm going to go ahead and leave my phone or I'm going to leave my finger right where the Q is. So you can see at you know kind of a high level, the Q is right next to where my thumbnail is. Now, if you want to make your keyboard larger, what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application of your particular iPhone. And when you do that, what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to go into display and brightness. Now, what you want to do here is you want to go and scroll down until you see a little option that says display zoom. Now, if you are going to want to make your keyboard larger, the only option and the only way to do this within your iPhone without having to download a different keyboard is to click on the larger text option here. And what's going to happen here is that when you click done, your phone is then going to go and use the zoomed in you know, portion of your particular phone. So now everything is going to be zoomed in. It can be kind of annoying, it can be an adjustment, but everything will appear larger on your particular iPhone. Now what you can do here is you can tap inside of here and you can see that when I tap here, the keyboard is significantly larger than what it was before. So you can see where my thumbnail was before, it was right at where the Q is. It's almost like a full letter above than what it was before. So that is essentially how you can make your keyboard larger. Again, it makes everything else larger too. But then what you can always do is if you need the keyboard larger temporarily, you can just create a zoomed in view like this and then go back into default and then change it back whenever you want to and go back into standard view. So that's basically one way you can basically do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.